finish up chapter 3 by today. Then um, for beginning next week, you'll start off with uh, chapter 4. However, during this weekend, right, I'm going to give you a simple project. Um, I believe we, that project will take about a week or two to finish up. Um, it's a simple one. Um, it's not the same as the other section. Um, it's slightly simple lah because um, apparently I, I wanted to do something else lah, all right, for this semester. Um, just to help you uh, simplify your project lah, basically. Eh? All right. Now, uh, let's start off with our... Uh, let's continue eh, with our lesson. Okay, um, I believe the, the last uh, that we stop is on the flow over broadcasted with uh, via, and then I have already assigned Abkori, Tavanesh and Chi Yong to um, help us go through activity 3.12. Am I right? Yes, yes. All right. Okay. How about um we just uh, you know start with uh Abkori first to explain for activity three point one two. Is that okay? Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Some of you really have a, I mean, very nice writing, very neat writing. It's very good. Eh? You have a uh, very neat handwriting. Okay, go ahead, Abkari. Um, Diberi uh, rectangular channel dengan lebar 5.5 meter. Kemudian, flow rate 8.74 meter cube per second n 0.016, s node 0.0045 dan untuk flow rate per meter kita bahagikan flow rate Q bahagikan dengan lebar 5.5 so akan dapat Q sama dengan 1.589 meter Q per second per meter dan untuk soalan ni H sama dengan 0.3 meter jadi Uh, tentukan Y node dan YC untuk rectangular channel Y node guna formula Y node darab dengan R kuasa 2 per 3 sama dengan QN over S node 1 per 2 kemudian kita masukkan nilai uh, R ni A over P dan so kita akan dapat nilai Y node 1.302 meter untuk YC, uh, untuk rectangular YC, untuk kuasa 3, Q kuasa 2 sama dengan G. So, uh, YC sama dengan 0.6361 meter. Jadi, keadaan flow ini adalah subcritical kerana Y node lebih besar daripada YC. Betul. Untuk calculate H-min, uh, H-min sama dengan E node tolak E-min. So, E not sama dengan Y not tambah Q kuasa 2 bahagi dengan 2 G Y not kuasa 2. Hentikan nilai, kemudian dapat nilai E not sama dengan 1.378 meter. E min sama dengan 3 per 2 Y C. Kemudian kita masukkan nilai Y C. Akan dapat E min tu 0.9542. So, H min adalah 0.4238 meter. Oleh kerana H lebih kecil daripada H-min, ya, jadi ini adalah K1. Untuk condition K1 ni, Y1 sama dengan Y3 sama dengan Y0. Jadi untuk cari uh, Y2, kita cari E2 dulu. So E2 sama dengan E0 sama E0 tolak H. So akan dapat nilai 1.078 meter. Okay. Ya. Um, Y2 tambah dengan Q kuasa 2 bahagi dengan 2 GY kuasa 2 sama dengan E2. Kita gantikan nilai semua tu. Kemudian uh, hilangkan uh, equation ni kita darabkan dengan Y kuasa 2. 
untuk dapatkan equation yang ni. So nanti akan dapat y kuasa 3 tolak 1.078 y square tambah 0.1287. Kira masuk dalam calculator kemudian kita akan dapat y sama dengan 0.9288 dan y sama dengan 0.4542. Jadi disebabkan kes satu ni condition dia y2 lebih besar daripada yc dan lebih kecil daripada y0 so y2 adalah 0.9288 Betul Okay itu saja so, y2 yang 0.4542 tu bukan eh? Alright. Ah bukan Thank you Welcome. Okay itu saja kan? Okay um Terima kasih Abkari. Uh, Abkari tak nak tunjuk muka ke? Ada yang kom komen kata Abkari handsome juga? Tak ada lah Dr. Alright, tak ada. Okay. Oh, we call him Roy. Okay. Alright, thank you Roy. Um, now, uh, ada yang nak tanya soalan tak pada Roy? <laughs> Semua puji handsome tapi masalah masalahnya ada yang nak tanya soalan tak? <laughs> tak ada eh? No one is, no one wanted to ask question eh? So uh, it looks very simple eh? Or oh, straightforward lah I would say. Um, the next part, uh, the second part of the question, I would like to invite Tavanesh to explain. Uh, okay doctor. Uh, boleh nampak ke Doktor? Nampak. Okay, first of all, uh, I think it's same with like Kori. Uh, first, we extract the information first from the question uh, which we have uh, discharge B, N and S0. Then, uh, I use this equation which is Y0 equals to R, uh, Y0 R to power of 3 equals to QN of over S01 over 2. So to find this Q, we use this formula which is Q equals to uh, discharge over B uh, and I'll get this one, 1.589. Then I just substitute the, uh, the values that I got uh, and also forgot to say R equals to AP. So just uh, substitute here as A over P which is B times Y and B plus 2Y. So substitute the values and I use calculator method and I got Y0 equals to 1.302 meter. Then I find YC uh, using this formula and substitute the values uh, which is Q already find here 1.589 and over G I got this, uh, this value 0 0.6361 meter and uh, we see the range which is Y0 is bigger than YC. So I con confirmed this one is subcritical flow then find H minimum. So to find H minimum, we need to calculate E0 and E minimum. For calculate E0, uh, Y0 plus Q square over 2G Y0 square. So just substitute the values that we already got here and we will get 1.378 meter. And for E minimum, is 3 over 2 times YC. And finally, we'll get 0 0.9542 meter. From this, we can calculate H minimum, which is E0 minus E minimum, and I will get 0, 0 0.4238 meter. And finally, my question asked uh, H, uh, what if H equals to 0 0.4238 meter? And according to my H minimum, uh, when I see the table, I got that mine is case 2, which is uh, H equals to H minimum. So when H equals to H minimum, which is same, I will get H, uh, Y1 equals to Y3 equals to Y0, uh, which is Y0, uh, Y0 is 1.302 meter. So Y1 and Y3 also same value. Same goes to YC. YC is 0 0.6361 meter. So my Y2 is 0 0.6361 meter also. All right. Thank you, Tamanesh. Okay. Uh, for case two is uh, pretty is simpler than for case yes. one and three, yeah. right? right? So, uh, thank you. 
Okay, I have, there. yes, uh, both of our answer are the, uh, same, the same lah. So, I'll, uh, well, it's correct lah basically. Eh? Okay, now, uh, the third part of the question is uh, Chi Yong, right? Will help yes, us yes, solve it, please. I, I already prepared a video that explained my part. Okay, sure. Please share that with us. We present for, for activity, activity 3.12 part, part C. C. So, so given, given the question, question we given, given from the from question, the question Q, Q is equal to 8.74 meter, meter cube per seconds, seconds, N is equal to 0 0.016, S not is equal to oh, okay, 0 okay. 0.00045, and width is given 5.5 .5 meter. So, it is a rectangular channel. So, first step, we need to determine the Y not and the critical depth. So, we are using the uh, many equations Q equals to 1 over N AR 2 over 3 S not 1 over 2 so we divided these equations by B and then we will get Q over B equals to 1 over N A over B R 2 over 3 S not 1 over 2 so we know that Q over B is equals to small letter Q and then one you over could you skip N. to until not, H you know mean? That uh, the area okay, okay. is equal to B, because right? so we arrange, we will get A. But, but it's the nice the way you explain it. Alright, thank you. E not 0.9542 meter. So, it's given that H is equal to 0 0.6 uh, meter. Okay. All right, so, that's when great. H equals to 0 0.6 meter, is greater than H minimum. So, it is in case 3. So, in case 3, it's note that Y is equals to critical depth which is 0 0.6361 meter so we need to apply e13 is equals to e minimum plus h so the e minimum just now we found that it is 0 0.9542 plus 0 0.6 we get 1.554 meters so we will need to find the y1s and y3 and we use this formula e13 equals to y plus q squared over 2gy13 squared so we apply the uh, value into it and we will get for the e just now we already calculated 1.554 and then we need to rearrange the equations we will multiply by y prime 1 and 3 squared so we will get uh, y cubed minus 1.554 y squared plus 0 0.1287 equals to 0. By pressing the calculator, we will get y1 is equals to 1.497 meter and y3 is equals to 0 0.3234 meters. We, we know that the case 3, y1 is greater than y naught, which is 1.497 is greater than 1.3021 and y prime 3 is lesser than y critical depth 0 0.3234 lesser than 0 0.6361 so we apply this into the specific energy graph we will get like this so y naught is greater than y uh, critical depth and y2 is equals to critical depth not greater than y naught and then y prime 1 is greater than y naught and y prime 3 is not greater than critical depth that's all from me thank you okay thank you chi young um anyone want to ask question regarding chi young solution Tak ada eh? Tak ada soalan eh? Semua faham eh? Okay. <laughs> kalau semua faham. Okay, kalau ada, no. Here's the thing. Um, kal kalau ada apa-apa soalan eh? You go through. Uh, kalau ada masalah, uh, you message saya, saya akan reply. Cuma uh, jangan tunggu sampai last minute lah. Kalau tunggu last minute, nanti... Um, you akan jumpa banyak sangat masalah nanti uh, dah berkumpul-kumpul kan susah sikit lah baik kita faham dari awal uh, memudahkan lah uh, 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 pembelajaran kita 
All right. So, okay. The next thing. Thank you, eh, uh, to Abkori, Tavanish, and Chi Yong, um, in helping us to solve uh, activity three point one two. Um, the next topic that I would like to, uh, that uh, we would like to look at is the flow truth constricted channel. Okay, uh, flow truth constructor channel. Um, now, just a second. Okay. This is the plan view. That means you are looking at the top of the channel. When it is constricted channel, that means at a section. All right. The width of the channel is reduced or being constricted. Lah, all right. So you have here initially, I would say the width of the channel is B, or sometimes we use B naught. All right, it's the original one. All right, then at section two, all right, we will we would just name it as section two where construction occur, and then we'll label the width as B two. That means there is a you know decrease in the width of the channel. Now this is the view from the top. You are looking from the top. Now this is the view when I cut a line. Uh, a longitudinal line, okay, uh, across the channel, um, along the channel. So what I have here, I can look at the depth, okay, the depth of the flow. Now, EG, e, EGL stands for the energy grid line, all right, okay, it remains the same, okay, unless, unless um, in cases where it requires extra uh, additional um, specific energy to ensure there's flow. Uh, therefore, you have uh, there's there's a calculation lah, all right, on how much um, energy is needed. Uh, typically, in this case as well, okay, you have case three where you have additional uh, specific energy to allow the flow to go through. Eh? Okay, here's the thing: the bed elevation at one and two are the same lah. All right. Uh, if you look at, uh, sorry, it's not the bad elevation. It's actually bad elevations throughout the channel. Okay, are are the same. This is not again. This is not longitudinal, but you are looking at from the top. And if you look at here, all right, the elevation is the same. It's not now. This problem is not the same as the flow over broad crescent weir where you install a weir. All right, at the bottom of the uh, channel. In this case, only the width is being constricted. Okay, clear. Eh? Hanya lebar saluran tu dikecilkan. Ah, uh, kita namakan section yang dikecilkan tu section dua lah. Keratan dua dikecilkan. Ah, uh, secara amnya dekat kalau uh, asalnya kan. Uh, saluran ni kan lebarnya sama kemudian uh, disebabkan oleh keadaan tertentu requirement design dan sebagainya kita akan kecilkan uh, lebar saluran ni jadi kita dah namakan dia B2 eh okey nah kalau lah B ada perubahan terhadap lebar saluran which is from B to B2 right now your Q will change as well okey uh, Auni are you still there Auni Aoni? Yes, Aoni. doctor. Okay. Aoni, I wanted to ask you one question. If you compare B and B2, right, what is the changes from Q to Q2? Will Q2 increase or decrease? Q2 akan bertambah besar atau kecil? Kalau lah B2 tu ya, lebih kecil daripada B. B lagi kecil daripada B2 eh? Ya yeah, betul. Betul kan kalau you tengok rajah ni pun, B nya lagi kecil daripada B kan? So Q dia tu meningkat ke? 
menurun. Meningkat. Uh, sebab Q ni ialah uh, discharge over B kan? So kalau B kecil, this Q will increase kan? So because they are inversely proportional kan? Ya, yeah, berkadar sonsang kan tau ni? Ya. Yeah. Alright, okay, thank you. Now, so in this chapter, right, or in this uh, problem here, 3.6, right, we are still using the uh, specific energy equation, which is this one lah, right? This one or this one is the same, eh? Alright. Now, uh, I'm just showing in the lab how this change, all right? Now, if you look at the longitudinal section, right, the depth will increase at the uh, at the construction section, at the constricted channel or section. Okay, here. You can see the changes in the depth of flow, right? Okay, so I'm going to skip this already. Uh, this is the, some of the experiment that have been conducted, lah. All right. So now, in you know, in our surrounding, this is what we can see. You know, if look, if you have a bridge across a channel, that means the width of the channel is being constructed already. If you want to build the bridge, all right, you because you need to have the piers there, all right. Now, um, on the top of your right side, uh, you is similar to you have a uh, crossing, right? A channel crossing or river crossing. So therefore, it actually constrict the width of a channel as well. Uh, this is at the bottom left, all right? You have twin culvert, all right? Um, of course, it will constrict as well the flow. As well as, you know, you have at the lake G3 there, right? You have, uh, you know, uh, parallel channels, uh, two parallel channels. If you look at it, this is a river cross, uh, sorry, channel crossing as well. Uh, so, this is, these are some of the cases uh, where you can see um, examples uh, where constricted channel uh, are. Now, this is actually, um, the purpose I showed this is, uh, well, constriction, constriction does, does occur, okay? Another thing would be, this is a compound section, okay? You have, um, you have wet flow, all right, uh, for this uh, uh, circular section, and also you have dry flow for this uh, trapezoidal section. Okay, this is this is meant when is if it's not raining but there is still flow. That's why you have this uh, uh, bottom section here, and then this trapezoidal is for wet flow. That means when it's raining, there's uh, additional flow lah. That means it will uh, overflow from this circular section, right? Okay. Now, let's try to look at. Uh, you know how we are going to analyze or determine oh, how does the depth of flow change due to constriction of the channel. Okay, now um, let's go through the definition. So I'm going to introduce the symbol of B max. Now B max is the maximum width of constriction which will start to produce critical flow. Uh, now, you have a channel, right? You start to reduce the width of the channel. When you start to reduce the width of the channel, okay, and when it reach a width which is B max, critical flow will occur at that section. Now, if you further reduce the width of the section, critical flow remain to occur. Now, however, that this critical flow, right? The uh, depth of the critical flow changes according to B. Remember, uh, let, let's assume it's a rectangular channel. Remember, uh, I asked Aoni the question, what would happen to the discharge over unit width if you reduce the width? 
Uh, Aung said, yes, it will increase. So the further you decrease the width of the uh, uh, channel, the higher the discharge over, you, over unit width will be. Okay, so Y will change according to B. Be careful, huh? there's no, uh, the, the YC is not fixed, but change uh, depending on the width, uh, constructed width, all right? Now, therefore, I'm going to introduce YC. There are two YC here, okay? YC naught is the one uh, when you consider the normal discharge. Meanwhile, y, YC2 is at section 2, which depends on the channel with B2. This one, YC0 is based on B, B lah or B0 lah, which is the initial width of the channel. So remember, you have YC2 now. YC0 is the original YC and YC2 when you have constricted width lah. All right. Now, I'm going to divide for analysis purposes. Okay, I'm going to divide it into three cases as well. You have case one, case two, case three. Now, let's look at this. You know, um, for case one, when B2, B2 is the contracted channel. Eh? When you decrease B2, the width at B2, at location two, but not yet reach B max, okay, your Y2 is not yet critical, okay. When your B2 is equal to the B max, your Y2 is equal to critical flow because it starts to become critical flow already. So when you further decrease the width of a channel at location 2, okay, which is become less than B max, huh? your Y2, the depth at location to remain critical. However, okay, the uh, the depth of critical flow it depends on your B two lah. Okay, it's not the same as this Y C two. Eh, be careful. All right, so it will increase. Okay, increase that means it will be larger than Y C two since you are decreasing the width of the channel. Uh, according to this equation lah. Eh? If your Q increase, your YC will be in you, your YC will increase as well because it's directly proportional. So takat ni ada soalan tak? Clear? Tak ada soalan ni? Oh, eh? no, okay, doctor. Okay. Okay, takat ni okay eh? Terima kasih. Okay, um, I'm going to skip the last line. I'm going to skip this first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip this first, but I'm going to explain this first. Okay, nanti kita datang balik lah, jangan risau eh. Tadi saya dah explain uh, case 1, case 2, case 3. Case three. Uh, now, this slide actually shows the step as well. Okay, uh, first you want to know why not, you want to find out YC lah. I put here YC not, it's actually YC as well lah. When you are using B not eh, or B. Kemudian, you have to calculate YC2. Q max B max, okay, because you want actually the purpose is you want to find B max. Remember in the flow over broad crested rear, we wanted to find H mean because we want to establish which case it is, either case one, two, and three. Then the next step you can find Y1, Y2, Y3 already. Okay, now let, let me try to explain this. Eh? Okay. Uh, I'm using, I'm going to use this um, EY curve here, all right? Uh, here's the thing. Um, this line here, I'm going to draw different color. Okay. This line here, okay, is uh, when, okay, if there's no changes to, uh, if we are looking at location 0, 1, and 3. Okay. Clear? That means B is equal to B0 because we have Q0. Okay. I, I think I better use another color. Okay. Now, then, if we keep reduce, uh, if, there's changes at location 2. That means we reduce the width 
at location 2, okay, uh, we reduce up until B equals to B, B max, okay, then your Q is Q max already. Then we'll get this curve, uh, this EY line, eh? I put it as dash. Okay, now before that, start. let me show you this. Okay, I'm going to increase this a bit. Okay. Um, okay, now you see last time, right? We have our channel with fixed. That means our Q, uh, of course, the discharge uh, will be constant as well. Uh, but not the discharge over unit width. If you look at here, I'm actually using this discharge over unit width where I have my Q divided by A. A is uh, actually, in fact, a is uh, being influenced by our width. Lah. Because if you look at here, all right, it's B times Y. Okay, now look at here. When I reduce my B, what would happen? If I reduce it, you see the EY curve, there, there's another set if at location two where your width is different, there's another EY curve coming up. Okay. Now, what if, you know, just now, well, let's go back to width of two. What if I increase it? Lah, okay. Of course, it will further go down, it will go down further. Now, let, let's see. Let's go back to 2. Let's see when I reduce it to 1.5, then 1, then 0 0.5. Okay, this is what will happen. Uh, as we expected, right, the YC will increase as well. Uh, of course, your E mean will in, uh, increase lah as well, right? Okay, now so far, I hope you are clear eh, why we have so many lines here uh the ey curve here all right now for case one for case one okay um for case one actually just now we look at when b equals to b naught and when b is b2 is equal to b max eh so when if you if your b okay is greater than B max. In, just now, I keep reducing my width at location two, right? If you notice it, the e, e, the specific energy curve, right, keep increasing. It will increase until my B equals to B max. So you can imagine that this EY curve will fall under between these two lines here. All right, so you have another set of B, uh, um, EY uh, specific energy curve. Um, now, until it reach B max where critical flow will occur, okay, at location two, okay. Now, here's the thing. Uh, why I said, you see, eh, uh, if I, I'm using uh, case two, Okay, this would be the line. I need to change color. Uh, if I'm using case 2, this would be my spe specific energy curve. Now, for case 1, right, this is my specific energy curve. Now, I said, that, well, I can actually, for case 1, my y1 equals to y0. My y3 equals to y0. It doesn't matter eh, whether, uh, of course, you can establish whether it's subcritical or supercritical. Then, if it's subcritical, your y2 is also subcritical, but that depth is actually will be read from this EY curve, which has, you know, this EY curve is produced from our B2 because remember our Q will change to Q2 as well. Okay. Now, if this B2 becomes B max, of course, this point here, this, this dot here, okay, will actually fall to this location. That's why I said your Y2 becomes YC. Okay. 
Now, this is the case when the flow is subcritical. Okay, now if it's supercritical, that means you need to read it from here. That means uh, um, it's, the, it's the same condition, it's supercritical as well. Okay, because it doesn't change uh, condition or state of flow yet. Uh, setakat ni, clear? Okay, uh, this soalan. Do you have any questions so far? No, eh? Anyone? No, doctor. Okay, okay. great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, um, I'm I'm going to go through this. Um, I'm just actually prepare uh prepare. Uh, this equation so that you can utilize all this equation lah. All right, but we'll come to this because I think you need to go through an exercise before you come to understand all those equation, how to use them. All right, now for case two, remember I said just now you keep having, when you keep increasing, decreasing the width at location two, right, your specific energy curve will keep increasing until it reach when b equals to b max b2 equals to b max now um, i'm going to delete this line okay then okay we come to case two case two is this that specific energy falls exactly at b b2 equals to b max all right it, you keep increasing it it falls so uh at 2, okay, at E2, okay, E2 becomes E min lah, alright, uh, I put it here E min 2 because this E min is not the same as this E min when uh, your B is equal to B naught, this is the uh, specific energy curve, alright, and this is the one. Now for case 2, it's straightforward, Y1 equals to Y naught, Y3 equals to Y naught, and y2 is yc2. It's not this yc, eh? Uh, because we need to read it from this specific energy line here. Okay, it's different due to changes in b, eh? Okay. Uh, of course, this is the same, lah. All right, for subcritical and supercritical state. Now, let's look at case 3. I'm going to skip that. We'll come back to that later. Now, for case 3, the same situation, eh? Uh, when there is super critical upstream, you will have hydraulic jump before you form a subcritical. Because when supercritical change to subcritical, there must be some energy loss. Supercriticals, you have high energy flow. When you change it to subcritical with low energy, that means there must be uh, uh, some sort of energy loss, right? So therefore, it's lost in the jump. Lah. Okay. Now, for case 3, no matter if subcritical or supercritical, your Y1, okay, allocation 1, okay, is in subcritical state. If you still remember in our flow over broad crescent area, right, it's the same concept, eh? For at location 3, the state of flow is supercritical. Okay, therefore, okay, this is your Y3. This is your Y1 for both sub and supercritical cases. Now, you see, just now, this is the dashed line here again is our, when our B2 is B equals to B max. Now, if we further reduce B2, of course, our specific energy curve will further increase, right? Okay. Um, further go up lah basically eh? it goes up now if it goes up right okay if you have the initial if you are still using the initial uh, specific energy okay or up to e min eh you need to have additional specific energy to have the flow to occur lah, basically eh so how much, all right, how much, you, it depends on your B2, which is now, is smaller than B max already. Okay, now, therefore, okay, now look at this, your Y2 will still be in 
critical state however is not the same as your y2 or yc when it is uh, b equals to b max so you need to uh, recalculate this yc2 okay uh, which also uh, which depends on your b2 lah okay um, now i know that the way i explain it maybe because we have not gone through an exercise yet uh, after we have gone through the exercise you probably will understand further lah. okay now let's go look at one exercise eh? um, this is just to show you know um, how the, the the specific energy or how the e min and yc increases with decrease in your width uh, we are looking at location two eh? okay now, uh, that means B is B max, okay? Now, if you further increase B, okay, to becomes uh, 0 0.9, of course, you have another set, lah, okay? But it's no longer, it's already reached the specific, uh, in, uh, the minimus or the Q max, right? So, uh, therefore, okay, you need additional specific energy, lah, all right? Now, I'm going to skip this eh, uh, because I already provide all the SS, uh, info to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one. All this, please try it. Okay, try it yourself. And I think um, next, after this class, you have to do as assignment three. I also, I think assignment three only have two questions. One is on the flow over broad crested wheel. The other one is on flow through uh, contracted channel. So I'm going to try out activity 3.16 with you. Uh, because um, I believe, uh, I did this, no, no, no. I think, wait. Uh, ah, this one. Activity 3.18, why? Because it involves all three cases, okay? For A, is case one, case two, B case two, and C case three. Well, well, we'll see why it is, uh, it is classified as case one, case two, and case three. Now we have to determine B max first, ah, before we can classify them. Okay. So, doctor. Yes. I want to ask, ah, okay. if in this constrictor channel is mm -hmm. usually used in rectangular channel, only, ah. Um, yes, I, yes, you are right, Joseph. You, you, you are correct. Normally, we will give you um, question using rectangular channel. Uh, normally, because you want to find discharge over unit width, right? Uh, which is applicable for rectangular section only. Okay. Um, okay, ah, huh, Joseph. That answer okay. you. All right, okay, thank great. You. Okay. Uh, uh, Chua Chen just asked, right, dia baru tanya, adakah flow over broad crested wheel dengan um, penggentingan ni, penggentingan saluran ni melibatkan keratan segi empat? Uh, jawapan saya, ya. Yeah. Okay, lazim, ya. Yeah. Kami akan gunakan keratan segi empat lah. Okay, memudahkan lah analisis. Nah, kita tengok aktiviti 3.18. Okay, now the first step, kalau nak selesaikan soalan ni kan, the first step kita nak cari why not dengan YC. Uh, why not telah diberi tau? Ini normal depth. Why not ialah 0.8. So, kita dah tak perlu cari why not dah. So, the next step will be kita nak cari why C not. Okay. So, uh, kalau tengok di sini. Okay. Kita ada why C not. Uh, why not, sorry. So, kita nak cari why C not. That means uh, Q. Uh, well, since it's a rectangular section, we are using this formula. Uh, so therefore, if you look at it, I already saw for discharge on over unit width. Okay. Um, now, typically, kan, saya bila nak selesaikan soalan flow over, soalan dalam chapter 3 ni lah, untuk case flow over broad crested wheel dan flow over constricted channel, saya suka lukis curve, EY curve ni, EY, EY uh, graph ni. Uh, sebab memudahkan saya lah nak dapatkan formula. Saya tak perlu memorize pun lah. Saya tengok formula dia kat sini lah. Okay. Nah, jadi nak nak selesaikan uh, aliran kritikal, saya perlukan discharge, right? Uh, sebabnya you boleh selesaikan terus dalam formula ni. Tak ada masalah. Tapi uh, kalau step by step, mudah sikit lah. Tak nampak, uh, mudah nak kesan kes kesilapan eh. Uh, jadi... Um, discharge over unit width, we have discharge divided by B. Now, B not, ingat eh, 
tadi kita kata uh, ni sorry eh dia sama je semua ni B kan ni pandangan atas eh uh, kita tengok daripada atas ni ni mata lah eh kita tengok dari atas uh, lepas tu dekat section 2 ni ke, dikecilkan eh lebar dia uh, dikecilkan lebar dia jadi that's why kita kata ini B2 ok ini ialah B2 lah ok now Um, why C yang kita cari ni sebab kita menggunakan B ni sebabnya ialah sama ada dekat lokasi kosong, satu atau dua, uh, tiga lah tapi bukannya dua lah sebab dua ada uh, kes penggentingan eh, saluran maknanya pengecilan lebar saluran je. Uh, jadi Y C ialah kalau uh, Y C ialah Q squared over G to the cubic power jadi kita dapat 0.3323. Nah, dah dapat YC kalau kita compare uh, dia ialah Y0 ni ialah keadaan dalam keadaan subcritical sebab dia lebih besar daripada YC. Uh, jadi uh, dia ialah subcritical. So nanti mudahlah maknanya dia ada dekat atas ni lah. Alright. Ini ialah uh, Y0 kita. Sini eh Y0. Uh, dia bukannya dekat sini. Hati-hati uh, eh. Okay. So allocation tu, when B becomes B max kan? Okay, ni kita kata untuk case 2 ataupun case, sebenarnya kita nak cari B max lah. Eh. Dia sebenarnya case sama dengan case 2 lah. Ingat tak tadi saya kata bila saya kecilkan saluran B dekat lokasi 2 ni, B2 ni saya kecilkan, kita punya lengkung EY ni akan meningkat kan sampailah dia uh, sama dengan case bila B sama dengan B max. Okay. Uh, bila sampai dekat B sama dengan B max. Uh, perasan tak apa yang kita dapat ialah E min untuk case B sama dengan B max ni sama dengan E not sebabnya. Uh, kan betul kan? Uh, Di sama dengan E not jadi uh, so at location 2 when B equals to B max E min 2 is equal to E not. Uh, that means 0.8287. So Of course kalau nak kita kata kita tahu E min 2 sama dengan E not Of course kita nak cari E not pula lah So E not ialah Y not plus Q squared over 2G not squared Alright so therefore our E not is 0.8287 So now we know that when B2 equals to B max E min 2 is equal to E not Okay so we have there E min 2 equals to E not. Um, so, kita dah tahu E min 2. Kau tahu E min 2? Total. Yes. So, when B equal to B max, so our B is 5 meter right? The B max. Oh, oh, we don't know. We don't know B max yet. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. Ah, uh, This is, this 5 meter is B not. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, Now, when is it is B not, This is the only curve eh. Yang ni saja. Ini ialah lengkung bila B sama dengan B not. Lengkung ni bukan eh. Lengkung ni ialah bila B sama dengan B max. Sekarang ni kita tak tahu B max kita eh. Uh, we don't know what is the value of B max. But we are, we need to find it now. Okay. Uh, sama macam kita cari hinge mean kan. Okay. Uh, now. Jadi uh, kita dah samakan. Sebenarnya kan daripada E min 2. Kita tahu E min 2 ialah bersamaan dengan 2 per 3 YC. Ingat tak formula uh, kita nak cari E min, kita kata E min ialah 3 per 2 YC. Uh, jadi uh, therefore kita susun baliklah. Jadi E min sama, uh, sorry YC sama dengan kita pindahkan 2 per 3 per 2 ni ke sini jadi 2 per 3 E min. So kita boleh dapat YC 2. Uh, YC 2 ialah kat sini lah. This is the point of YC 2. Okay. Uh, when it is at E min, e min 2 lah. So therefore YC2 is 0.5525. Okay, 0.5525. Now, once we have YC2, what can we get from YC2 is Q. Remember kita, we have YC is, you know, Q squared over G to the power of 1 over 3 kan? Give it power kan? So, we can actually find this Q. Alright, we have YC2. So, we also have Q2. Okay. 
So now we rearrange this. Of course, uh, kita kuasa tiga kan kedua-dua, kita akan hilangkan yang ini. So we have YC cubic power. Okay. Then we bring G towards then uh, kita nak hilangkan kuasa dua ni, kita kuasa setengah lah. Alright, kedua-dua belah, we have this formula. Okay, kita ada formula ni. Sebenarnya kan dia terbalik tau formula dia dengan yang flow over broad crested wheel. Okay. Um, kita just have to rearrange it lah. Okay. Ya, formula yang sama lah kita gunakan eh. Jadi uh, bila gantikan YC dengan G. Okay. Okay. Uh, sekat, nak bagi tahu eh. Uh, YC yang nak gantikan. Ah ya saya. So we actually we will find the new Q2 like clean. We won't use the 0 0.6. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Because Sorry. now we want to find the details for this curve already at 2. This is at location oh, 2. Okay, uh, this is the curve at location 2. This is the curve at location 0 lah or 1 and 3. Eh? Okay. Alright. Uh, ingat eh kalau nak baca Y dekat satu lokasi 1 dan 3 kena baca dekat curve ni eh. Ukur dalam ni dekat curve ni. Kalau nak baca ukur dalam pada lokasi 2 ni sama ada curve Ni ataupun mana-mana curve selain daripada curve ni. Uh, curve ni kalau tak ada pengecilan salur uh, lebar eh. Kalau ada pengecilan sal salur uh, lebar saluran, e lengkung specific energy dia dah akan meningkat lah eh. Tadi kita dah tengok eh. So jadi B, therefore, if you know Q, alright, we know that Q is Q over B. Ini Constant eh, ini kita akan berubah. Sebab discharge ni dari awal sampai hujung memang constant lah. Okay. Yang berubah dia yang ini dengan ini. Ah, okay. Sebenarnya Q ialah B times Q. Okay. Ah, so therefore, kalau nak cari B. Okay. Nak cari B ialah Q divided by just Q kan? Okay. Ah, oh sorry. B bawa dengan Q. So Q divided by... Uh, it's actually discharge divided by discharge over unit width lah. You'll get B. So therefore, B2, okay, in the case of B max, eh, because we are considering B max already, eh, since we set E, e min 2 becomes E naught. This is case 2. Okay, so therefore, B2 sama dengan B max sama dengan Q divided by Q2. Q2 ni, eh, okay, sama dengan 2.33. Ini B max kita. So tadi lebar dekat satu, kosong satu dan tiga ni lebar dia ialah lima meter. Tapi dekat dua ni lebar salurannya ialah 2.33. Maknanya dikecilkan lah. So ini ialah B max kita. Setakat ni clear eh? Kita dah jumpa B max kita. Boleh eh semua? Boleh. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Betul. Alright. Jadi untuk kes pertama Betul. bila B2 Betul. sama dengan 3.248. Eh ada soalan ke? Uh, yes, this yang. Kalau soalan tadi dia and location 2 means B maximum ke? Uh, b, no, um, why we want to find B max? Because uh, the question give us 3 B2 kan? Yes. Kita nak tahu dia case berapa. It's like we, we when we want to uh, as distinguish uh, or establish whether when B2 is 3.248, we we wanted to know whether this is belong to case 1, 2 or 3 kan? So therefore, we need to find B max first. Okay. Okay, does that answer your question, Jin Sam? Okay, right. Okay, now. Untuk case A ni, B2 sama dengan 3.248 meter. So, kita tak tahu dia case berapa, tapi kita dah cari B max kan? B max kita tadi yang kita cari ialah 2.33. Jadi B2 ni lebih besar daripada B max. So therefore it is case 1. Now this is the EY curve for B max. This is the EY curve when B, B, well I would say B2 also equal to B0 lah. Okay. Alright. So when for case 2. Alright, if you keep decreasing B, decreasing B not right, you decrease it, you would have a lot of 
EY curve, right? Until it reach case 2, which is B equals to B max. So your for case 1, your specific energy curve falls between these two curves. Okay. But I don't know lah exactly where lah. So I'll just draw out lah one line in between. Uh, setakat ni clear eh? Sebab, now, here's the thing. Why? If you look at here, your, at your location, uh, at your B2 lah basically. Okay. Your B2, you want to find Y2. Your E2 is actually equals to E0. Because you actually want to find your Y2. Okay. Now, this is the important thing. Since just now we have established your flow to be subcritical. Okay. So, your Y2 remain in subcritical. But you have to read it from this curve here. Not this one when B equals to B0. Eh? But when, is, when B2 equals to 3.248. Okay. Now, let's, let's go back. All right. To this. So when it's case one, you know already Y1, okay, and Y3 is equal to 0 0.8 meter. Okay, it's the same. Okay, now to find Y2, okay, in order to find Y2, right, we know that since E, the specific energy is not affected, uh, since the, the bottom of the channel remain the same and there's no H or H mean lah, what I, okay? There's no H lah at the bottom, okay? The specific energy remain the same, which is E0 lah, okay? E, uh, that means E2 become, remain the same as E0. So, we wanted to know what is our Y0. Eh, Y2, sorry, Y2 eh? So, E2... Okay, is the same as E naught. Uh, this is actually this this point give us E naught. This point here give us E two. Okay, eh? so we set E two becomes E naught, which is zero point eight two eight seven. This is this is what we have found out earlier eh? when we try to find B max now. Now to find Y two. We want to find what is the value of Y2 here. Once we know E2, we substitute E2. Now, this Q here, this Q2, be careful eh. Because we are reading, kita nak baca Y2 ni daripada lengkung ni. Jadi, of course, lengkung ni, dia ada Q dia. So, we, we need to find the Q2 here. So, Q2 is Q divided by V2. So, this is our Q2. So, we substitute Q2, okay, in our specific energy equation. Alright. So, substitute G, we know E2. So, we would have this expression here. Yang ni eh, yang ni yang kita kena selesaikan. Guna, kita kena buka lah. Ha, kalau nak guna calculator tu, ha, kita kena darab dengan Y kuasa 2 lah untuk semua ni lah. Ha, yang ni darab Y kuasa 2, yang ni pun darab Y kuasa 2 eh. Ha, okay. Now, jadi uh, kalau kita key in, nanti, nanti, please, please try this, eh, try to solve this yourself. Kadang-kadang uh, kita kalau boleh jangan tengok jawapan. Soalnya saya dah bagi banyak uh, exercise, eh. Jangan tengok jawapan, try it out, lepas tu boleh refer balik lah. Kalau rasa ada jalan kerja saya uh, yang ada mistake, let Just inform me eh, saya akan betulkan, saya akan share semula. Sebab slide ni pun saya akan share untuk you all nanti eh. Uh, jadi, uh, I will share this slide at the end of the class lah eh. So, you can uh, try to do it to do assignment 3. Uh, so, now, when I solve this expression, I got two answers. So, which one is the right one? Since the initial condition is subcritical, my Y2 is still in the subcritic, subcritical condition, uh, which is 0.7518 lah. Be careful, eh? So, I just need one answer from you. So, don't give me this lah, basically, okay? But if you put like this, okay lah, because I know it's not the answer. Kadang-kadang, 
Uh, you, you bagi saya dua-dua jawapan sebab you pun tak tahu nak bagi jawapan mana kan Tapi <laughs> saya mungkin akan tolong potong sikit markah lah sebab uh, Saya sebenarnya nak satu je okay. Kalau bagi dua-dua jawapan tu memang uh, you tak tahu lah yang mana betul eh okay. Nah, ini case satu Now, for B right, it says B2 equals to 2.333 Well, our B max also is 2.333 so, since B2 is equal to B max, it is case 2. Now, our line is actually here lah, this one lah, okay. Uh, sorry, okay. Where our E0, okay, this is our E0, right? This this give our E0 and Y0 is actually false exactly when E0 equals to E min 2 lah ataupun E min 2 ni sama dengan E0 kita. Uh, jadi, uh, untuk kes 2, Y1 sama dengan Y0, Y3 pun sama dengan Y0 sama dengan 0.8 meter. Untuk kes 2 juga, YC sama dengan YC2 sama dengan 0.5525. Ingat eh, bukan YC sini eh, tapi YC di sini. Tadi kita dah cari kan awal-awal. Uh, so, saya tak tak tunjukkan lah jalan kerjanya sebab kita dah cari tadi eh. Sebab kita nak dapatkan, kita dah dapatkan E min, kita dah dapatkan YC, kita nak cari B max eh. Kalau you masih ingat lah. Okay. Now, let's look at part C. Okay. For part C, uh, or for question C, B they ask us to analyze when B2 is further reduced to 1.825. If you look at this, when it's further reduced, that means you know that at 2, it remains critical. Location 2, eh? the flow remains critical. So, asalnya kita ada dua specific energy curve. This is the, when B max kan? Ini ialah specific curve untuk B max. When you further re reduce B2, you would have, you would have um, another set of uh, 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 specific energy curve tapi di titik 2 akan remain critical. Okay. Now when it remains critical kan? Okay. You, sebenarnya so we can find out our YC2 lah. Kita boleh dapat YC2. Now from where? Here's the thing. Kit, uh, for case 3 eh, okay, we know B already, okay, which is 1.825. If we know B, kita boleh cari Q. Sebab Q ni tetap sama eh, tetap malah. Okay, tak berubah. Yang berubahnya ialah yang ini sebab dia bergantung pada B. Now, B baru kita sekarang ni ialah 1.825. So, what is our Q2 now is 1.644. Now, once we have Q, we can find YC2 already. Kita boleh cari yang ini eh. Uh, then, we can find our E min 2 already. The new E min 2 lah. Alright. Uh, the, the increased one. Okay. Now, so once we have YC2, okay. Now, how do we find YC2? We have Q squared, alright, over G to the cubic power. So, we have found that it's 0 0.65. If you plot out, all right, everything, it makes sense, eh? So, your YC2 is actually increased from 0 0.5 just now, eh? Okay? Uh, bertambah, eh, YC2 kita. Sebab kita bila lagi kecil, lebar saluran tadi kita dah nampak simulasi, kan? Lengkung specific energy kita tetap uh, akan meningkat lah, okay? Akan uh, maju ke atas lah, okay? Now, so, um, okay, now, so Y2 is YC2. Ini jawapan kita eh, jawapan untuk Y2. Kita dah jumpa, jumpa dah, Y2 ialah YC2. Iaitu 0.65017. Sekarang ni, kita nak cari pula apa Y1 dan Y3 kita. Okay. Um, Jin Siang, can I ask you one question, question Jin Siang? Ah, uh, yes. If I want to find y1 and y3, which curve should I look at? Uh, let me re let me recolor this. Eh? Uh,
Okay. Should I look at the yellow line? Uh, no. Yellow curve, red or green? Green. Huh? I want to find E1 and 3. Oh. Oh, e is, oh. What is the width of at oh, 1 yellow. and 3? Yellow. Yellow, okay, correct. Thank you, thank you. And uh, now, that's why I, sebenarnya saya tanya soalan tu sebenarnya saya nak you all faham tau. Um, kalaulah saya nak cari Y1 dan Y3, masih ingat tak kita punya uh, apa tu, ni pandangan dari atas eh, kita tengok dari atas. Uh, lokasi, ni lokasi 2, ni lokasi 1. Ni lokasi tiga So lokasi ni kosong eh Lokasi satu dan tiga B dia masih sama tau dengan B not ni kan ha, Jadi kalau B sama Q ni sama Jadi lengkung yang sama jugalah eh? Which is this one ha. So this is This is when uh, Kita sebenarnya in, Ini kita kita jadikan panduan je lah Bila B sama B max kan Uh, inilah case uh, bila inilah B2, inilah B0. So, uh, kalau kita nak baca ukur dalam dekat lokasi 1 dan 3, kita kena tengok lengkung ni eh. Uh, kena hati-hatilah. Alright. Tapi kalau nak baca Y2, kita kena baca dekat lengkung ni sebab lengkung ni hasil daripada kita pertimbangkan B sama dengan B2 lah. Okay. So, let's, let's go back eh. Okay. Now, Um, okay, uh, so uh, once I have Y2, okay, I can actually find my E min already Sebab um, E min ialah yang kita tahu E min sama dengan 3 per, 3 per 2 YC kan uh, Okay, um, okay, so uh, dah, dah, dah ada Uh, 3 per 2 YC, uh, sorry ada call tapi tak apa biarkan je. Uh, okay, now uh, 3 per 2 YC jadi uh, kita gantikan. Okay, so E min ialah 0.97761. Now, kita co boleh compare tau E min 2 kita, kita expect memang akan meningkat daripada E not. Uh, e not kita tadi ialah kalau kita perasan E not kita tadi ialah uh, 0.8287. Ha, jadi kita akan expect uh, E min 2 kita uh, ialah lebih meningkat iaitu 0.967 lah kalau that's why kadang-kadang saya suka lukis graf ni sebab saya boleh check juga jawapan saya betul ke tidak. Uh, it makes sense lah eh. E min 2 kita memang le lebih besar lah daripada E not. So uh, okay now kalau nak cari ukur dalam 1 dan 3 okay Sebab kita tahu ukur dalam di lokasi satu ialah dekat subcritical dan ukur dalam uh, sekejap eh. Hello? Ah yes. Ah, ah ada ada cuma cuma uh, uh, ya yeah, ya yeah. <laughs> cuma saya ada kelas sekarang saya tengah mengajar. Uh, Ah, teng ah, tak boleh, tak boleh. Saya ada dekat office sekarang. Ah, jadi boleh tak saya, um, saya lagi setengah jam kot habis kelas. Ah, nanti saya telefon balik boleh? Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Ah. Sorry, sorry, I have problem with my um internet at home. Um, this um this uh, guy wanted to help me ah. Okay, now um I'm sorry about the. <laughs> Um, interruption just now. Now, uh, jadi tadi kita dah, uh, tadi saya explain eh, saya nak, we wanted to find Y1 and Y3. But our Y2 is here eh. Uh -huh. Here's the thing, kita tahu dekat Y2 ni, dia bagi kita E min 2. Uh, tapi, tenaga tentu kita sama tau. Y1, Y2 dan Y3. Maknanya there's an increase in Y, uh, in E. So we will base on this E min 2 to find our Y1 and Y3. So kita boleh samakan E1, 3 kita sama E min 2. Setakat ni faham eh? Ada soalan tak? 
Okay eh? Doktor ulang balik boleh? Ah boleh boleh saya ulang balik eh. Um, now, um, saya okay. I, okay, uh, saya ulang daripada I min 2 eh. Kita dah jumpa I min 2. Maknanya kita dah tahu nilai ni I min 2. Uh, Kalau lah uh, kita pergi balik sini. Saya rasa saya kena tunjuk rancah ni. Tengok eh. Kalau tengok rancah ni di 1, 2, 3 kita mempunyai tenaga tentu yang sama. Betul tak? Maknanya ada perubahan tenaga tentu asal sebab untuk uh, untuk uh, bagi dia mengalir uh, ataupun aliran berlaku kita kena increase specific energy. Jadi increase specific energy tu uh, akan menyebabkan specific energy kita increase tapi masih sama uh, pada lokasi 1, 2 dan 3. Setakat ni faham eh? Faham. Eh sorry sorry saya saya rasa saya guna eh kan, saya rasa saya pergi jauh sangat. Tadi sebenarnya kes ni ialah flow over broadcast tapi eh saya tersilap guna rancah tadi. Eh jat jat jat. Tak apa. Uh, mungkin rancah ni there's something wrong with the pigel lah. Tapi sebenarnya saya tak tahu kenapa ada ini eh. Ini sebenarnya dah tak ada eh. Uh, ini tak ada. Sebab ini case flow over broad crescent wave eh, dia lain lah. Tapi sebenarnya almost similar lah. Okay. Okay. Now. Um, now. Um, kita pergi balik sini. Jadi tadi kita kita dah faham kata E tenaga tentu dia mesti sama pada lokasi 1, 2 dan 3. Ha, jadi kita tahu E min ni pada titik Uh, lokasi 2 ni E dia sama dengan E min 2 Faham eh? Uh, bila sama dengan E min 2 Tadi kita kata E1 dengan E3 Sama juga dengan E2 E2 kita maknanya sekarang ialah E min 2 ha. Sebab kenapa saya cakap E min 2 Ingat tak tadi definasi B max kan uh, Critical flow will occur uh, If you keep reducing the from B max, uh, keep reducing lah. Uh, from B max, uh, B, B2 equals to B max eh. Uh, so, akan tetap jadi E min lah di, uh, K, untuk case 3 eh, E2 tu. Jadi, um, uh, so therefore, okay, kita nak dapatkan Y1 dan Y3, kita kena tahu E dia. E dia sebabnya sama dengan E min 2. Boleh eh? Tadi siapa yang tanya soalan eh? Auni, Auni. Auni ha, Auni. Auni faham tak? Apa yang Auni tak faham? Ah, sebab tadi tak faham macam mana E1 dengan E3 sama dengan E-2. Tapi dah ah, faham. Sekarang dah. dah faham eh? Dah. Ah, okay. So ah, kalau dah faham okay. Nah. Jadi, so sebenarnya formula dia senang, okay. Jadi, E1, 3 sama dengan E min 2, iaitu inilah 0.9761. Uh, jadi, uh, dah tahu E1, 3. Uh, kita gunakan specific energy punya equation, okay. Kita nak cari, goal kita sekarang ni nak cari Y1 dan Y3. Jadi, kita gantikan E13 sama dengan E min 2 ni iaitu 0.967. Now ingat eh Q ni saya kena guna Q lengkung ni tau iaitu Q not. Uh, remember that eh. Uh, that's why I ask the question eh. Jadi Q not kita sebenarnya 0.6 eh. Uh, jadi uh, dah substitute uh, kita cara yang sama try and error. Okay uh, saya rasa saya ada buat silap ni. Okay. Uh, ini yang betul eh. Jadi, um, now, Y1 subcritical, Y3 ialah supercritical. Okay. Okay. Now, ini Y1 kita, ini Y3 kita. Okay. Um, okay. Um, itu menjawab soalan C ni lah. Uh, ada soalan tak setakat ni? Do you have, do you guys have any question? Tak ada? Boleh faham eh semua? Kalau tak ada saya teruskan eh. 
Okay. Okay, okay rasanya. Okay, okay rasanya. Okay. Tak, saya rasa you all kena cuba buat dulu ke baru faham. Uh, sebenarnya senang je ben, uh, dia punya ni. Tapi kalau ada masalah, uh, tanya saya. Uh, saya sebenarnya nak habiskan slide ni. Ada satu slide ni je. Choking eh. Uh, apa keadaan choking? Choking ni macam um, macam tersekat lah. Ataupun jerutan eh. Uh, jadi uh, kita sebenarnya kalau boleh kita tak nak ada uh, choking lah. Choking of flow. Uh, sebenarnya choking of flow ni ialah uh, case ketiga untuk flow over broad crested wheel dan juga flow through construction. Uh, they are all falls in case three lah. Okay. So we don't want that. Why? Okay. Um, because it will cause backwater flow such as flood and things like that. If you look at, if you go back right, look at case three right, all the case three right. If you look at this case three right, uh, okay. Oh, I think this is another question. No wonder. Okay, if you look at case three, right, uh, you would have the backwater to occur, right? So we don't want that. It will flood the upstream area. Uh, so uh, seboleh bolehnya. Okay. Here where we comes in, eh? You guys akan jadi engineer nanti. Kalau lah you have to design a bridge or anything, right? You have to make sure the flow, the condition of choking does not occur. So you can, uh, uh, you have to do try and error too. What I mean try and error is you can gunakan Q yang berbeza. Uh, mungkin kalau kembali uh, 50 tahun, 100 tahun kalau nak design bridge kan? Uh, jadi Q dia akan besar lah. Jadi you akan cuba Q yang berbeza. Uh, you tak cuba tambah Q. Uh, untuk pastikan bila Q bertambah dan segala dan uh, dengan um, you know konfigurasi yang berbeza akan berlaku tak choking ni? Kalau tak berlaku selamatlah. Okay desainnya. Tapi kadang-kadang tak boleh elak juga. Kadang-kadang kita tak boleh guna macam you know design yang terlalu uh, 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 selamat disebabkan nanti akan melibatkan kos juga. Uh, biasanya dia ada design consideration dia lah. Uh, okay, so I think that ends my uh, lecture for topic three, for chapter three lah basically. Okay, um, and ka, setakat ni you all ada soalan tak sebelum kita tamatkan uh, kelas kita hari ni? You don't, you guys don't have question ah. Belum yeah, lagi. Okay, cuba dulu eh. So, nanti saya akan share slide. Okay. Um, mungkin leh kuat sikit lah sebab saya, saya kena uh, lari balik rumah juga. Okay. So, I can share slide. Uh, so, you all try out a summary eh. Try juga semua exercise yang saya dah bagi dalam slide eh. Okay. Kalau tak ada, uh, kita jumpa hari Ahad minggu depan eh. Uh, the assignment uh, due is like previous right? Like, uh, One week. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll see you next uh, Sunday then. Take care, eh, all. In the group project, maybe. Uh, group project, I'll give it during the weekend. Uh, I, 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 I wanted to give a much simpler project to you guys. Okay. okay. Thank you, Rata. All right, you're welcome. Okay, Rata. Thank, Thank you, Rata. 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 You're welcome. <coughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Ah, uh, Doctor. Ya, yes, saya. Ah, uh, yang today punya yang kita belajar ni nanti Doctor upload dekat YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah. Terima kasih. Ingatkan saya sebenarnya semua dah download, tapi saya lupa tak sempat nak upload. Jadi uh, nanti nan, uh, nanti eh, siapa yang bercakap ni? Eh? Ah, uh, Daniel. Ah, uh, Daniel. Ah, uh, Daniel. Kalau lah by malam ni saya tak upload, ingatkan saya. Ah, uh, okay, doktor. Alright, okay. Terima kasih. Thank you, doktor. Alright. Thank you, doktor. You're welcome.